Okay, dude. Um, dude, this is my, you know, my fuel system, everything. The, the little Mr. Gasket gauge right here is, that's my return line. That gauge broke, and I had to, dude, I was also getting some um, restriction. It jumped up to 6 PSI, so I had to replace the line all the way back with three, I replaced it with three eighths line and I got it down to two PSI so that's cool. Um, this is the the inlet gauge that I got. I got a little Mallory, I got a Mallory gauge on this side. You can see it's filled with oil and everything and it, what the problem, you know, I've been having, still have the fuel pressure issues that I've been telling you about where it's um, 20 20, it starts up, like I said, at 21 PSI, it starts up and it stays there and then about 10 to 20 minutes after, um, later, um, then I get, I get 16, 16, it drops down to about 16 to 17 PSI and that's not helping, it's, that's not going to work with, help me tune because then it then it then my mixtures or my settings uh, become leaner, so I got to get this fixed, and I've been talking to you about it. Um, anyway, showing you what I was doing. And I replaced the the line down there, um, and I went around the I went around the the. Uh, the fender well here like this with some flexible line right down in there and then I and then I connected it to steel line underneath here see you can kind of see see where I connected the steel line right there and then I ran that next to the frame all the way down like this see and bent it. I followed the, the 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 stock steel line, and I went all the way back there. See, and then I connected to flexible again, and went up and over the the back of the rear wheelhouse, uh, following the 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 stock steel line. And dude, I got all my I got my plates covered because. I'm gonna put this on. I'll put this on YouTube. But anyway, um, then you can and you can see my you can see my fuel system here. I've got I've got my um, this this right. The fuel pump is in the middle, and then um, the fuel flow goes from left to right. So it goes through this little fil comes out of the tank, goes through this little filter, goes through the this is my fuel pump. That's the pump this is the Holly pump that came with my throttle body kit. Um, and I got it relayed and with 10 gauge wire coming straight off the battery. Um, so that there's no issue with power. And then of course it pumps the fuel and then it sends it through the this larger fuel filter and these all came from Holly. I was thinking about I was I was thinking about taking this fuel filter off and, and just taking a look inside, but it's been doing this consistently uh, so I was just gonna check it out just but I think you're right going with the different with this with a welding pump maybe and I was looking at some of their equipment. So you can kind of see how I got that. So if you look at the car like this, you can't you can't see the you can't see the the fuel pump or anything like that. You can kind of see it from the bottom. That's how I've got it mounted there, and I painted the the bottom of the I painted the the tank. And then under here I got, let me see, you're probably going to be laughing at me, but I got my, 
I bought that new fuel sending unit, which is pretty cool. It's got the inlet and outlet right there. And that's the outlet. And then I've got that going like that, and then into the fuel, the first fuel filter, and then into the pump. And then, of course, this line comes back and it goes into, it goes back into the tank. And this is nice 3 8 flexible I put in there. That, that works pretty good. It's working pretty good. And then I got my relay right there that goes to my pump. I got, see, I got nice, good wire there. And then these are all my fuel lines and everything. So I think that's that seems to be working pretty good, dude. So um, and you can kind of see it right there. There's my fuel connections. And they follow on the inside of the frame rail. Um well, it's a subframe. So and then they go down on the inside right there and then to the front. So everything looks pretty good, dude. You know. But I'm gonna have to get my hands on I gotta go look at some of that, those those fuel pumps. Okay. Aside from that, it's looking pretty good, dude. Dude, and you can see my wife's car. And then my wife's other car. And then my wife's other car, dude. I mean, that's how it works. See how that works? You know. Anyway, dude. Um, so, later.